Hello, party people. What is up? Today I'm doing a very, very special video. Um, it's been requested a few times in the past. Um, I've thought about it and dwelled on it and was just trying to wonder, you know, how I'm going to make a video to present this and talk about this with you guys. But um, first thing before I say anything, I want to say that make sure everybody follows me on Twitter. Um, I have all the links on my channel page you can see make sure you subscribe hit the subscribe button so you can get access to all of my videos and future videos to come and make sure you follow me on Instagram and on snapchat and you can find all those links somewhere on the page okay so let's get right into the video so the name of this video is called nine ways to attract your soulmate um, this is a deep video it's a deep discussion again this is just my experience um, me you know, giving advice. You don't have to follow it. It might not work for you, it might not work for everybody, but in my experience, this is what I believe works. Okay, so first one. Nine ways to attract your soulmate. Um, be a positive person almost all the time. Okay, so just to give you, just to talk more about the topic and attracting your soulmate, these are just ways for you in life, not just attracting a soulmate, but to attract good energy, positive energy towards you, towards your life, or just a mate, or just good things happening to you in your life. These, these are ways to attract all those good and positive things in your life, okay? So, like I said, the first one is be a positive person almost all the time. I know it's hard, life gets hard, um, you know, and it's not always easy to be positive, but in this case, you have to try to be positive all the time. Um, do positive in life, keep positive energy flowing all around you, um, put out only positive energy, you know, um, you have to try as hard as possible to block out negative people, block out negative thoughts and etc. And, um, you know, remove toxic people from your life. And I know it's difficult. It's, it's easier said than done. Um, but you can do it. And this is definitely a start to finding your soulmate or allowing your soulmate to find you. Um, point two, I would say to nine ways to attract your soulmate. I would say is to believe in true love um you know don't dwell on the bad relationships around you you know sometimes you hear you know different relationships people going through things and you know it can be a little discouraging it can bring you down you know and you can kind of feel like okay you know maybe there's no hope for me you know she's getting cheated on maybe there's no hope for me i don't look like her i don't have what she has and you know in times like that you can't really focus on the negative because everybody's situation is different and you know everybody goes through things differently and what God has for you is for you. You know, one person's path in life and their relationship doesn't mean that's going to happen to you. So you have to believe in true love. You have to know that it's real and that it exists and that it's out there. Um, you know, so, you know, you don't dwell on the bad relationships around you. Also, the key word is to believe. So like I said, you have to believe in true love. If you don't believe that it's out there, how are you going to attract it to yourself? You know what I mean? You don't believe it for yourself, you know? So... Also, you have to know that you deserve true love. Know that you deserve to be with someone that loves you. You deserve to be with someone you have a connection with. You deserve to be with someone you have a chemistry with, you have a good chemistry with. Someone that you know that you can be with for the rest of your life. Someone that you know you can trust, that you'll have loyalty with. You deserve that. So you have to know that to attract it, okay? You have to trust and believe that true love exists, you know? And people will try to bring you down, you know? Oh, girl, all guys cheat. No, all guys do not cheat. Oh, you know, all girls are going to cheat. No, all girls are not cheat. You know what I mean? So don't take in the negative. And like I said, try to believe that true love does exist. There are couples that are together and nobody gets cheated on. You know what I mean? So don't let people try to cloud your judgment or make you think negative. You know what I mean? Don't compare your love life to others. You know, whatever somebody else is going through, however good it may look. You know, people are always saying, oh, relationship goals and all this crazy stuff. You can't, you can't call something relationship goals if you don't know what the hell is happening in a relationship. That's fake. Why would you want to mimic something that you don't even know what's really going on? You know, so those are the key things. Um, number three, nine ways to attract your soulmate. Be a great person. It's really not that hard. <laughs> you know, I, these are all basically different ways for you to be a good person. And to do good things in the world in life and as you do good things and you keep being a good person and keep positive energy coming in you're going to allow this soulmate to come in you're going to allow this good person who's meant for you to come in and change your life you know what i mean so be a great person what is being a great person do things for people without expecting anything in return 
you know what I mean? Help. Help others. H-E-L-P. Help. Don't be scared, you know? The energy you put out, you get back. You know what I mean? So don't do evil. You know, so so and so Susie comes to you, Susie needs twenty dollars. You know, give Susie the twenty dollars. You know, Susie struggles, Susie has kids, Susie's in situations. Give Susie twenty dollars, don't ask Susie for the twenty dollars back. Say this is just on me. Just giving you an example. You know, we, we know how to be great people. We're not stupid. You know what I mean? So you know when you're being an asshole, you know? Don't be selfish. Stay humble. You know what I mean? Simply be nice and treat others how you want to be treated. That is a key. You know what I mean? I always tell people that. Don't say anything to someone that you don't want said to you. Don't do anything to someone that you don't want done to you. You know what I mean? Even something as simple as doing community service, volunteering in a, 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 an animal shelter or, you know, helping in, in hurricane, you know, the hurricane thing we have going on, Hurricane Irma and all this crazy stuff, Hurricane Harvey, helping, you know, involving in that, donating to that, giving to a charity. Just do something that's just selfless. You know what I mean? That you're not focused on yourself. You're focused on, on putting good out into the world and helping somebody else. Tell me, it'll draw a person in. Okay? Number four, nine ways to attract your soulmate. Keep your love karma good. That's an important one. Don't break any hearts if possible. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's hard, you know, because everybody that likes you, you're not going to like. And that's fine. But it's just don't leave people on. You know what I mean? Don't be scared to date. You know, just stay honest and real. You know? Don't use people. Have respect, especially for those that like you. People have feelings, you know. So if Jane up the street likes you and you're treating her like crap and you're making fun of her and you think it's funny between you and your friends and stuff and embarrassing her, that's not cute. And I think that stuff like that comes back to haunt you later in life. You know what I mean? Even if somebody likes you, you don't like them like that, be nice to them. You know they have a crush on you. You know people have feelings. We're all human. You know, we're human beings. Everything that you put out into this earth, you get back. So just simply as something as just being nice to someone that has a crush on you, that is important. You know what I mean? And I think that, you know, God sees that and that's good you're putting in the earth and you'll get it back and you're going to attract your soulmate. Okay, number five, nine ways to attract your soulmate. Number five, this is a big one. Simple. Do you. That's it. Do you. What does that mean? That means keep yourself busy in life. Keep improving your life. You know what I mean? Better yourself always. You know, you have to invest in yourself and invest in your life. Don't just, you know, focus on meeting this soulmate, meeting somebody, being with somebody. Focus on you and bettering you. You came into this world alone, you're going to die alone. Focus on your life and your future. Do you. You know what I mean? Take that trip you've always wanted to take. You wanted to go to Mexico. You wanted to go to Europe all these years. Go. You know what I mean? Like, Start start that savings account you've been wanting to save. You know what I mean? Enroll in college. You've been talking about going to school and, you know, et cetera. Do that. Do that. Be on the grind. Be on the grind. Don't let your mind go idle. Keep yourself busy. You know what I mean? Write that book you've been talking about writing. You know what I mean? Design that website you wanted to design. You know what I mean? Like, you know, you've been working, you know, like I said, on that book. For how long? Get it out of the way. You know what I mean? What are you good at? You know what I mean? What what is, What is your calling? What are you good at? Find it and perfect it. You know what I mean? Find it and perfect it, but you have to educate yourself. You know what I mean? You have to, like I said, don't let your mind go idle. Keep yourself busy and do you. Focus on you and your career. Where do I see myself in five years? What can I do to put myself in the best position possible to be where I want to be in 10 years? You know what I mean? Do you. But if you're just sitting around focusing on one person or focusing on this or I don't have a man, no. You're not doing you. Do you. Okay? You came in this world alone, you're going to die alone. Okay, nine ways to attract your soulmate. Number six, meditate and pray all the time. <laughs> meditate and pray, two powerful things. No matter what religion you are, stay close with your God. You know, prayer always allows blessings to fall. So you have to, as long as you're praying and your heart is in the right place and you have good intentions, it's going to work out. You know what I mean? And meditation helps give you new ideas, you know, positive. You're giving yourself a positive energy flow on life. You're praying and prayer works. We all know prayer works. So praying and meditating to me, that's so important. And that is such positive, good energy that you're giving out that you're definitely going to get back. So definitely keep your mind level-headed and definitely meditating is so important. Praying is so important. Do these things, okay? Nine ways to attract your soulmate. Number seven, know specifically what you want and write it down. This may sound a little crazy, but what type of person do you want? What type of person do you want to spend forever with? You know what I mean? Lifts, do a list of qualities and everything you want in a person. You know, the height, the weight, the 
the complexion, the race, the 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 um the career. You know what I mean? Uh, the teeth, the, every little thing, the personality, the laugh, whatever you can think of, whatever you want, write it down. Writing down goals and what you want is always effective. Even the Bible says that. You know, you write something down, you write down a plan, and you'll most likely fall through with it. You know, you have to um, know yourself and be aware of what you're looking for. So what do I want? What do I really want? You know what I mean? See the vision and believe it. Write it down and stick by it. You know what I mean? Write it down. Okay. Nine ways to attract your soulmate. Number eight. We're getting there. Number eight. Keep the faith. Don't settle and don't give up. This one is important. People give up all the time on love. They don't think it's going to work. They settle. So they go with JoJo down the street. And they still think that they're supposed to be magically blessed with a soulmate. No, you gave up. You're giving in. You're with somebody you know you're not supposed to be with. Now you're pregnant and blah, blah, blah. No. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's hard. Nobody, you know, it's hard being alone. And you feel like you have nobody. You want to cuddle some nights. You want this. You want that. Have patience and wait. You know what I mean? Don't settle. Don't give up. You know, people settle all the time. And I think when you settle like that, you have the chance of never meeting your soulmate. And that's on you. You know what I mean? How can you be blessed if you settle? How can you show God, okay, this is what I want. This is what I deserve. But I'm going to take this in the meantime. No. No. No, 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 no. Keep the faith no matter how lonely you get. No matter how many freaking emojis you see or, you know, the memes you see online about couples and relationships and stuff. Keep the faith and don't give up. You can't. You can't, giving up is not an option. You have to literally, like, brand that in yourself and know, like, okay, this is what I want. I know I'm going to be happy ever after. I know I'm going to have this. I know I want this. Let me focus. Do you. Do you. Faith is believing in what you cannot see. You got to remember that. So even though this soulmate is nowhere near, you haven't met them, you don't know who it's going to be, you still have to believe and show God that you believe. You know what I mean? Okay. And our final point, and nine ways to attract your soulmate, drum roll, <gasps> love yourself. That's, that's the easiest one ever, but it's not because a lot of people don't love themselves. Um, it's so important. You know what I mean? Like, do you really know yourself? You know what I mean? What are your pros and cons just about yourself with dating you? You know, what will you bring to a relationship? You know, are you living a life that shows you love yourself? Like, all these things are so important and to me it's like you can't expect someone new to come in and love you when you don't even love your own self. You have to practice self-love and you have to know your worth. You know what I mean? I think that is so important before getting in a relationship. That's why I think a lot of times when people who are younger get in relationships, they don't really know what's going on because you're too young. You don't even know yourself yet. You don't know what you want. You don't know what this person wants. You don't know what you want to be. You don't know anything. You're fucking 17 years old. You know what I mean? So. I think it's so good to like, you know, you can date while you're younger, but when you get older, you really have an idea of what you want. You really have an idea of who you are. You really have an idea of this person you are and the person that you want, you should. So, you know, loving yourself is just like essential and it's, it's so important in life. And a lot of people don't know that. And you have to know that you're worth it. You know, you're worth it. And you have to know that this soulmate, this person is out there for you. I'm not saying there's this perfect person, this perfect being that's going to be there. I'm not saying that, but this person will be perfect for you, you know? And I think a lot of that has, has to do with, you know, finding true love has to do with the person you are. So that's why a lot of these, these things that I gave you, these nine ways to attract your soulmate, have a lot to do with you as a person and who you are and bettering yourself. And not only just to attract your soulmate, but this is just to attract good things in life, positive things in life, positive, you know, blessings and just good energy and good karma coming to you so i wish you guys luck with all this um i hope you like the video if you have any questions any comments you can leave the comments down below make sure this video resonated with you or helped you or open your eyes in any way at all even a little bit or you even just liked it make sure you click the little like button for me um make sure you subscribe to my channel and thank you guys for watching and i hope this video helped you and send you out many blessings much love and hope you all find true love very, very, very soon.